So let's have a look at Affinity Publisher, shall we? And managing your templates. And we'll set those up in their own template folder so that you can keep track of them. There's nothing worse than wandering all over your hard drive looking for where you put those templates. Now you can keep them in folders and it's really easy because as soon as you go File New and there we go. Templates, Affinity Store, it comes with those. Book 1 tutorial that I'm working on and publish a template collection. This is a series of templates um, that I've put together probably over the last year or so. And what we'll do is have a look at how to set this up and how really easy it is. Okay, now that I have all of these um, original templates that I've created over some period of time, let's have a look at them and I've put them into the, in a, a, a folder called Publisher Template Collection. Now I've called it Publisher Template Collection simply because there's odds and ends in there really, date modified from the 16th of April 2020. So they're quite a way back right up to the 26th of April 2021. So they're a year apart, those ones there. But they're not the only templates I've got. There are other templates. Now, note the name Publisher Template Collection. Let's go and have a look in Affinity Publisher. Now let's go to New, and what I want to do is create a new, a new uh, collection. But I've got templates there. Now the Affinity Store, this is one that comes with Publisher. And I looked at this and I thought, mm, some of that's useful, maybe not. The Book One Tutorial, there's a couple I'm using for a tutorial I'm building. I'm building a paperback and a hardback novel cover templates. So these are these are cover templates. Now I don't want to create a new one out of those, but what I do want to do is put my template collection in here. So I'm not looking for a folder randomly across, across the desk somewhere. I'm going to add a folder down the bottom there. Now I go to Documents and there it is there. Now I find it a little easier instead of using these icons to use choose the list. And there it is, Publisher Template Collection. So let's use that one and I'll choose it. And there it is there, Publisher Template Collection. Now you can see them in there and the name comes up when you highlight them. And there's a bit of an image, some of them that have definite images showing. You can see them there. There's my YouTube thumbnails for publisher and that's the original master and an ebook template for PDF export. So there's quite a few there and that's all there is to it. This means that you can, when it comes to saving a template, let's for example pull up that one and I'm going to create a document using one of the ones that's in another folder. That one's called B Paperback. Easy. Create a document and up it comes. Now that's all there is to that document at the moment and you can see I've got some slightly different settings. The bleed is normally blue. It defaults to blue, but I've changed it to red in this case and set margins, spread setup and document setup. I don't need to go into that at the moment because what I want to show you is setting this up as a repository, if you like, an archive. So we've got that there. Now it's already a template. I'm going to export it as a template I didn't catch again. That. Could you try again? Oh. There's Siri shouting at me. Now, because that's, I'm going to put that in the publisher template collection. It's the last place I look, so this remembers it. Now, what did I call it? B F O R M A T B format, and I'll call it number two. 
because I'll put it in the publisher template collection. I don't want to confuse it from where it is at the moment. You can see faintly there uh, the originals that I've just moved into there. So let's save it. B format template. Now that's exported as a template. It should be in there. If I got that correct, or if I got distracted by Siri, there it is there. B format 2 AF template today at 12.45. That one's untitled because I haven't saved it. I exported it as a template. Now I don't want to do anything with that. I just want to close that document. Don't save it. And we're back there. Now I come back tomorrow and I think, oh, okay, let's carry on with that document. Well, let's start a new document. File, new, and it's in the publisher template collection. And it should be in here. There it is there. Nice and alphabetical. B format template. We don't want the 20 by 20 page brochure with multiple masters. That's a really good one, that one. That's that's a different um, video I've got. But there's the one we've got, B format 2. You can see it gives the full path name to it. And there it is. Create a document. And there's our document. Untitled. It's a document, of course, created from the template. Now I don't want to export it as a template. I want to create a document. Go down there, blah, blah, blah. Put the pages in. You can see the bleed. And because it's one I created and I know it, it's got a red uh, bleed margin on there. Just what I wanted. Too nice. But I don't want to do anything with that. I just want to close that. Don't save it. And we'll come back to that later. Now that's how you can... Um, organize your templates in Affinity Publisher. A short little introduction and that's all there is to it. Shall I step through that again? Why not? Create a folder called, well if you like, Publisher Template Collection. Where have I got that? It's in Documents. Now Documents, because I keep everything on the iCloud it's in Documents, not the desktop. Don't keep stuff on the desktop. You could do it directly in iCloud where the original one was. But no. And you can see I've got a few other things there. They're templates. They're templates. And they should be somewhere. Hmm. Where should they be? I don't know. They should be in it. They're in a templates directory. But are they publisher, designer or photo? I'll have to have a look. There it is there. Publisher, 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 publisher. Because you can see the symbol there. But I'm not going to worry about those at the moment. They're in iCloud Drive. I can take them out of iCloud Drive, put them into Documents, which I might add is still part of the iCloud. But it's much easier. Documents belong in Documents. And there they are. So create a directory. And if you like, call it Publisher Template Collection. And that's where it lives. Close that. Then go to Affinity Publisher. Click New. And in your Templates area, add a folder. And you can, you, of course, you can remove the folder and show in Finder. But add the folder you've created with your templates in it, add it to a publisher, and then there's never any chance of mixing them up, and you always know where to find them, and they're in lovely alphabetical order. B, H, H, L, so on. You can be even more OCD by calling them, by giving them names that are purely alphabetical. But um, let's not go there. And that is all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.